What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new add-on from the guys over at Diffuse Studio for creating procedural signs in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you've gone to the front page of the Blender market over the last week or so, um, you might have seen the Procedural Signs, which is a new add-on from Diffuse Studio, is currently the most popular add-on in the Blender market. And so Procedural Signs is an add-on from Diffuse Studio. And so you might be familiar with them from their excellent procedural alleys and procedural crowds add-ons. So procedural crowds, remember, is a tool for quickly generating crowds inside of Blender and adding people, other things like that. I'll link to the video I did on that in the notes down below. And so procedural signs is a new tool designed to help you create signs really quickly for your Blender models. And so it's got the ability to create a lot of different things from adding signs using text to allowing you to draw in order to create the different signs and create different animations all in a way that makes it look like an emissive neon. So you can see all of the different sign times that they have by scrolling down um, on their Blender market page, which I'll link to in the notes down below. But let's jump over into Blender and talk about how this works. Okay, so when you download this add-on, it's gonna come with two files. It's gonna come with a extension file, and then it's gonna come with an asset library. And so when you download this, it's gonna come with two different files. It's gonna come with the add-on file, which is what you're gonna install in Blender. And then it's also going to come with an asset library file file. And so what you want to do is you want to take that smaller file and you want to install it in your add-on section of Blender. And then once you do that, you want to go into the select assets folder option and link this to the assets file that it comes along with. Now you do want to make sure that you extract that zip file into just a regular folder when you do that. But once you link to that assets folder and you activate this, you're going to be able to activate this over here on the right hand side of your screen. So um, you can tap the N letter key on your keyboard in order to access this. And when you click in here, notice how there's two sets of options. There's options in here for you to create procedural signs. And these are the different types that are in here, as well as the ability to create different preset signs down below. So the preset signs are exactly what they sound like. They're gonna be signs that have already been created and generated. Um, and you can just come in here and just add them quickly to your scene, right? So if I click on this, this is going to add this preset sign in here. And so one thing to note about these presets is they actually are editable. So if I pick one of these light signs, for example, and bring this in, click on add preset, notice how at the moment it doesn't look editable, right? Um, when it's first coming in, um, it looks like it says there's no active object, but if you select the sign, which it's still compiling the shaders, but if you come in here and you select the light sign option in here and select this, notice how this is gonna give you the ability to adjust this sign in here. So the presets are going to be editable and adjustable in here if you do want to do that. But let's take a look real quick at creating our own procedural sign in here. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna pick a kind of sign. And so in this case, let's go with an LED style sign. If I click on this, so if I click on add sign, that's going to add the sign object into your scene right here. And so we'll make this Bonnie sign. But now if I select this object by clicking on it and then click on the little drop down right here, notice how it's gonna give me the ability to adjust different things about the sign. So. I can adjust things like the spacing of the letters as well as coming in here and adjusting the text. So let's say that we wanted to create a sign that has Bonnie's name on it. You can use this. You can just type in your string right here in order to do that. And so then you can come in here and you can adjust things like the number of times that Bonnie's name is in here, your text color, your LED strength, other things like that. Now, if we were to animate this, notice how Bonnie's name is gonna animate across the front of it right here and say that we wanted ad additional copies of this. Notice I can add this in here and we can just have this running in the background as an LED sign like this. And then you can come in here and actually adjust other things about this. So for example, if you want the text to blink, you can click on this checkbox right here in order to do that. And then you can also adjust the LED wall that's in here. So you can make it bigger, smaller, really whatever you want. And then you can also come in here and adjust the color of the background 
in here. So if you want the, the background LEDs to be something different, you can come in here and you can adjust this. And there's a lot of different custom sign options in here. Like let's say that we wanted to pick the big screen, what you can do is you can use an image, right? So if I click on add sign, and let's say I was to pick a JPEG image in here with me and Bonnie, um, notice how it's going to take that image and it's going to basically generate a sign with that image inside of Blender like this. And note that this is made up of little LEDs in here. And so then you can adjust different things about this, like the scale, you can adjust if it's a tilted sign, um, forward or backward, you can bend it along a curve if you wanna do that, which is actually a pretty cool option in here. So you can do a lot of different things with this sign once it's created. And then down below, you can adjust, you can adjust if it has waves, you can adjust the depth of the mount. So I'm gonna unbend this really quick, but see how you can adjust the mount on the backside in order to adjust the depth of the steel that's in there, as well as the height above the ground. So lots of interesting things you can do with the big screen option. Oh, and one other thing about the big screen option is if you go into your lateral screens and you toggle this on and off, you can set this so that you have multiple screens in different directions. You can also adjust the offset that's in here and you can adjust the direction that they're rotated. So you can set this if you wanted to create like a uh, if you wanted to create like a um, concert stage or something like that, you could use this sign type in order to do that. Now, one thing, yeah, you can come in here and you can adjust the corridor or the walking area in here. So if you don't want that on the front, you can use this to generate these signs just like this. Um, so you can use this in order to quickly create stages and other things like that. And so the channel sign is gonna give you the option to create a sign using text, SVG, or draw. So let's say we were to create the sign right here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over a little bit, but let's say we were to create this sign right here. We can either create it with text or you could create it with an SVG image file that you bring in or the draw function. I think we're gonna look at the draw function when we get to neon signs, but they're gonna work generally the same way. But again, fully adjustable in the sense that you can adjust the Z offset, you can adjust the color of the sign in here, you can adjust the texture. Notice how there's a couple different textures in here um, of different wear types, depending on what you're looking for right here. And then one of the things that's really cool about a lot of these signs actually, is it gives you the ability to add spotlights. So notice how if I toggle this on and off, I can add different spotlights in here that are actually going to cast light on the object when it's rendered. But you can also adjust the rotation of those spotlights like this. And so the light sign, you can either import your own image or one of the things that you might think about doing is going down into the presets and picking a light sign. So let's say that we were to pick um, this light sign right here. We're gonna click on add preset. So that's gonna add the sign into our scene. And then let's go ahead and move this over. So if you look at this sign, what this is, is this is a sign with lights around the perimeter. And so when we click on this and adjust it, Notice how this is gonna give us the ability to adjust depth. It's gonna let us adjust the thickness around the perimeter and the roundness of the corners. So this is more of a sign that might like hang off of a building. Note that it does come with those different supports in here um, and that adding this or aligning this to a wall should be pretty easy. There are a couple different mounts in here depending on the way that you want this to look. And this one has the LEDs around the outside that you can toggle on and off. You can also adjust the color in here. Um, note that if you were to use Eevee for your rendering in here, you can toggle the bloom on. And so if you toggle the bloom on with Eevee, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add this kind of like light blur in here. This is more of a rendering setting than anything else, but it's going to make it look like it's casting that light, even though you're not having to do the cycles, longer render time thing, anything like that. But you can also adjust this so that you've got light bulbs around the outside like this. So big or small and they'll animate. So you can animate the LED flashing and you can animate the lights moving around the outside like this. All right, now let's create a neon sign. 
So, and let's do a neon sign with the draw function. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the sign in here. And what it's going to want me to do is it's going to want me to draw in here. And so what I wanna do is I just want to create some letters in here like this. And so what this does is this allows you to paint that neon sign in here, and then you can adjust different things about it. And so then with that neon sign, you can set emission strength like this. You can adjust the radius of the tubes that this generates, as well as setting a flicker animation, right? So if I toggle this on and off and I play this animation, it's going to flicker on and off. And so it's worth noting that the text version of the neon sign actually allows you to create some really cool stuff as well. So if you look at this neon sign, and let's say that we wanted to create something else. So we'll just say Blender right here. Um, this is going to allow you to adjust things like the text scale, um, other things like that, which we talked about before, but this is actually coming in here and this is adding lines on the inside. So this is actually kind of breaking this up in individual emissive lines right here. And so if you select the option for mirror neon, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add that to both sides. You can come in here, you can adjust the emissive color in here like this really quickly. So this does a really good job of generating these great looking signs in Blender without you having to do a whole lot of work. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about procedural signs. Um, this is a pretty deep feature set for a sign creation add-on. So very impressed with what I'm seeing so far, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.